It is time, guys. So let's get our Gagrabachi on. I'm here too. Ooh, this man out here going again with the art style, killing it with as sweet. per usual. Look at this. About five years ago, when Samurai, my pet praying mantis, ran away, I was overcome by sadness for some time. But then I gritted my teeth and pushed through it. Through this time, I lost my entire family. But what? But it's the same thing. You just have to grit your teeth and push through. Uh. Oh what the fuck? Growing up, was he dead? What the heck's going on? I, what I'm is the story? so confused. S sir? <laughs> Their only purpose is to kill. Electrocute in all directions. Massacre. Huh? W w wait. No. N not yet. I, I still have the job. Okay. So, yeah. Yeah. This is a different perspective. You see freaking uh, Jahira out here getting cooked. What just happened? He's saying something. Something about a lightning rod? Did he absorb the lightning? No way. He'd be dead. He'd have to be. He has to be dead. This is commentary. Is he JR? He's like, oh my god. He's going all the directions. directions. Go, go. He He's collapsing. Well, that makes sense. That's how it goes. Samurai. That, that smiles back. Goldfish. <laughs> January 11th, 18 days after Sojo's death. He's coming back. Oh, brother! You are <laughs> in That day, a samurai lit my helpless existence on fire. Wait, why am I getting beaten, beaten up? Who's that dude? He tried to interfere when they were, ki were kidnapping the kid. What the Run! Oh, no, you don't! <laughs> Stupid kid. Running, uh, ruining the boss is fun. Black. I can buy plenty of fresh, young flesh to butcher there. A little hey, fast sweet. before the feast is good. Wait, get this guy out of here. Why is he a goon? The slime. Ooh. <laughs> that kid who got away was totally your type, boss. They go track you down. So much for fast uh, fasting. I thought maybe I could be like him. Little worm like you trying to act big, huh? I was out of my league. No wonder I wound up like this. It's a... Uh, what? Oh, oh, a sorcerer? Oh, oh, I eat, I bring not the goddamn skills and what's this? Look at this, look at this, look at this art right here. Look at this guy, look at that. Look at that. Okay. Oh, wait. That looks painful. Wait. I'm joking! Prank him, John. <laughs> hey, did you see that? What's this ESO crap about? What a dope. Yo, look out the window. A goldfish. <laughs> hey, say like that. <laughs> hey, it's a goldfish. He's coming. <laughs> you know you about to get whooped, all right? Because y'all are whooping everybody. He said, "What about who you think you're dealing with?" Let's go. I'm just, I'm just wondering, th this, this dude, this random dude, he just happened that. to be in two different places that you hear with, like. Every time. Who the, who the fuck is this nigga, bro? He's gonna be very important. Maybe he's gonna be able to be the one to, like vouch for for Shahir on what he did because he's seen everything. Don't go through the goddamn glass. Look at that goldfish out here just uh, observing everything. Look at this. Kudo. <laughs> hey, what are you waiting for? Kill him. <laughs> Oof. So, you're the guy who's been on a rampage the last few days. What do you want? So, Soldier was a mere puppet. What do you mean? What this, what this guy right here? <laughs> Where's the Shinuchi? How would I know? First of all, Sojo didn't have the Shinuchi. What? What do you put it up for auction? They just used his name. Someone else was pulling the strings. Shaku. The storehouse was mostly full of research papers about weapons. Nothing related to the Shinuchi or the Hishako, it seems. Sojo wasn't connected to the auction at all. Then why do you have Cloud Gouger? It's the only uh, usable sacred blade. Right. Plus, they're openly auctioning the Shinichi. There's a lot of creepy aspects to this. I guess we'll get the answers on the day of the auction. It all stinks to high heaven. If we want to get the Shinichi back, we should do it before the Rakuzaki auction. That's what I think. No, you're not wrong. So... Then, first, we make contact with the Sananami family. The Zanami family is a powerful clan of the underworld. They're a family of sorcerers who, for the two centuries, have controlled the Rakuzaki. Interesting, actually. He has, like, a little... I don't know, maybe it's just a mask, but I wonder if that was, like, maybe, like, a hindsight and little hint 
to that guy we just saw. We don't know who he is yet because, like, it's, you know, his one eye yeah. is covered. So I wonder if that might be something. I'm just throwing it out there as a curveball. You never know. But, yeah, well. possibly. Uh, the black market auction that attracts VIPs of the underworld from all over the over Japan is just around the corner. It doesn't matter who you put them up uh, for auction. The auction items are all being held by the uh, Zanami family. Uh, it'll be faster to contact the, the Zanami family ahead of time. That said, they lurk in the shadows. There's very little known about them. Very few can get in touch with them. Just the fat cats of the underworld. The Rakuzaki customers who have connections to the Zanami family are disgusting lowlifes, all of them. We'll just have to dig through the who's who's of society's underbelly. I have a question. Hey. Samurai! You okay? I, I see it now. What I need in my life is a samurai. That's you. What the? He's fuck? confused. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck. Calm down, please. Do you know where you live? What's your name? It's the second time. The second time, dude! I'm Hakuri Zanami. Pleased to meet you. Okay, slow down. This, this is fate. I'm out of here. Wait, I need your help. I seriously can't do this alone. You're super fast. <laughs> He's out here like, no, get away. Mm. Halt. What did you say your name was? Hakuri Zanami. Zanami. Yeah, you heard of us. Well, we're a fairly influential family of sorcerers, but a lot of stuff's happened. Will you listen to my story? And it just, it just ends off like that. Like, <laughs> this is a really weird Interesting. chapter. Very set up like. There's, there's a lot of setup in here with this with the chapter here. Yeah. I'm I'm at least glad that we at least know like how this dude is connected that apparently he's part of this family of sorcerers when he said that you know anyone who deals with this family are basically scumbags and then you see this kid. Yeah, and he seems like a normally really functioning kind of guy trying to be helpful and stuff. He's actually not scumbagish. Maybe he he it was part of the family but then you know he he was disowned or something <laughs> or, or or father's Maybe that's friend. Why or just some just or, or he can be like one of the like you know like carriers or something you know somebody's like not that important but he's just kind of around because they kind of have to have him around you know what i mean like he could just be like that dude you know what i'm saying but there, there, there's there's many options of what this guy could be but i don't he's know like i have a, i have this wait what <laughs> i'm saying that they could be like totally crazy and just be like we only kept you to procreate <laughs> It's like that's your only purpose in this family to create more of us. <laughs> that's crazy. This is a uh, I'll say this is not a bad chapter because we need we, again we need exposition chapters like this to kind of like really flesh mm -hmm. out the next arc that we're trying to get into. So it, what I really liked about this chapter, one of the be best things about it is the fact that we do have this new character and we got to see his perspective on how how the fight was and how he got introduced to Chihiro in the first place seeing Sojo again was also a nice little touch you know what I'm saying you know he's gonna come like back one, one day panel. one day man but it was one nice panel. it was nice to have that like uh flashback to happen like that these flashbacks are really good he knows what he knows what he's doing when it comes to like trying to stick like like connect the story like this it's, it's really good I do appreciate how he's all able to uh, woven everything like this so it's 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 a nice little touch that he's going uh, that he's doing here so i do hope that this new character like that whole bluff that he did maybe he thought twice <laughs> about utilizing his ability maybe that's why he didn't want to do it or something like that maybe he could be really strong who really knows or he could be really trash i'm on the ladder to think that he actually is he actually is strong it's just that maybe he might be very timid or you know because he's, he's a very odd character as we already see right now you know what i mean like a lot of these characters in and uh, Kagura Bakshi are just kind of bootleg, so I can see him just maybe kind of like playing a part a little bit here and there. But when things get down and dirty, when he really needs to do something, he can actually do something, you know what I mean? Because he is a sorcerer. If he's actually part of his family like that, he is a sorcerer. So I, I, I hope to see what's going on here. So I guess I'm I'm guess I'm right in some ways with that guy's mask that we saw, a little silhouette of the father, I guess. Uh, mm -hmm. that, 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 that I think it matters. So there's something with that. So everybody keep an eye on that pun intended all right so everybody keep an eye on that so I, I i like this chapter though what do you think i don't like i don't know if it's possible for like so if you're a sorcerer in like this world can you actually like lose your ability to like 
do magic because like what if what if that is true what if he was part of this family he was disowned but then because he was disowned by the family he lost his like his actual like sorcerer powers and that's why he like tried to use it and he was like oh it was like wait oh shit i can't do magic anymore it's like Maybe. i totally forgot i can't do it anymore so you're telling me we're having a mass situation where this man don't got no magic but he's gonna still be in a magic society trying to you know fight some suckers you know he's gonna find a way but this is part of the reason why he says he needs a he needs a samurai like Chihiro, because he needs some kind of protection or something so he can or even maybe he can learn from Chihiro and learn 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 like sword skills like fighting because he can't do sor sorcery anymore so you might be on to something let me have Chihiro assassin is dead all right listen I'm throwing everything that could possibly happen at the wall man that is one of the things that could possibly happen anyways <laughs> what are we going to rate this chapter this week anna what are you what are you going for um i gave it a seven i think i'll give it about a seven, seven. too actually yeah, I, I, yeah i'll go with that also, just real, real quick, one quick reminder, actually, you guys should always come through twitch.tv slash TheBreakMaster because we do these streams live over on, on Twitch, and then this becomes a video edited later down the, down the road over on the YouTube channel. So for those that do watch it and anyone that's new that's seen this video, uh, you guys can be literally a part of the discussion because Ahmed, you're in the video, mm -hmm. just so you know. Mm -hmm. So I'm just saying, like, guys. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You can be part of the discussion. Like. Do what you gotta do. We will catch you guys in the next one. Until then, Kagura Bachi Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Yeah, squirt, girl. A pause. Maybe I should go touch up those <laughs> Oh. I said pause, all right? I said pause. <laughs> 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 That's what it said on there to shoot. All right, whatever. God dang it.